this video we will learn what do you mean by clock rating ok so first what is the need of clock rating means why we need to read um, the clock ok so basically it is one of the techniques for low power consumption that is you can reduce the power consumption using clock rating Okay. and you can also use it for test testing okay. so now we go on you can switch off this circuit okay. so that is called clock gating so clock gating is a popular technique used in many circuits for reducing power dissipation by removing the clock signal whenever he doesn't require ok so so clock rating saves power by proving the clock tree. we are cutting our clock tree ok whenever we don't require we are stopping the clock but uh, the disadvantage is the additional circuit is required so it consumes more area ok but power will be reduced. So this is a trade off between area and power. So when there is no activity data, when there is no need, so we will stop. So that is the meaning of clock getting energy. So this is the diagram. So serious. So this is the clock. So this clock we are not giving directly, but so when enable and clock that is here at it ok so when clock and enable so clock cut to negative edge so when negative edge is coming ok enable will come from here to here at, at the, so here the clock whatever is there will be we will get here so D will be transferred to Q so clock is not directly given but through this edge so that's why it is called clock gated you see so the q is gated like this so it, this is the typical icg is integrated clock gating set okay so clock directly will not give but this enable it so whenever you don't require you will we want to switch off this queue so we will use our enable way ok by where you can control the queues whereby you can save the power ok so how to write it very long so here we will write like this always at the rate positive edge of clock if enable that means if enable is there ok whatever is there in D to transfer to Q at the positive edge at the positive edge ok so if we write in if statement you will get like this for D flip flop and the ending edge same if you want to write in VHDL this is the procedure right until clock in and clock whatever is enabled Q equals to Q ok so this is the simple program for writing clock gating so that is the basic uh, meaning of clock gating ok so directly we will not get clock but with this circuit only so that we have control on the clock ok so main reason for this is we can reduce the, um, the power and also for any testing if you want to do also we can ok that's all in this video thank you please like to share and subscribe to my channel Thank you, thank you very much.